new temple down there. We were there yesterday and Friday. And the work started. And the people, of course, of Fort Smith is very happy and beautiful to see even the old mothers come on out and wanted to get some work done. And the old brothers. So we are, <clears throat> we are thankful. We had some visitors came from, <clears throat> who drove one, two, three hours looking for me to preach. I told them I came down here to work. And we had some city officials stop through. We never know who's watching the program letting us know that if it's any help that we need with permits or anything, let them know and they can speed up the process for us. So that's a blessing. We had some neighborhood preachers stopped in. <laughs> you know, most people used to seeing me in my suit and tie and if they see me jeans and hoodie and knock around gear on and a mask and cap on backward, some don't know who I am. One of the mothers was talking to me, I don't know how long, and didn't know she was talking to Pastor Jennings the whole time. She was telling me, young man, do this, young man, do that. I didn't say nothing, I went on and done it. And I took my mask off. She, <laughs> she grabbed her heart like she was Sanford and Son. <laughs> so that was, I was outside, kind of get away from the dust. And preacher walked by and spoke to us. He said, are you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, I am. That's right. That's right. <laughs> He said, I just want you to know I'm holy and sanctified and had the Holy Ghost for over 40 years. I said, all right. And he walked off. I said to myself, oh, what is all that about? <laughs> and another preacher stopped by. By that time, I was putting stuff out on the parking lot. I had my mask on. He he said, I heard Pastor Jen is in town. Is this the new church that y'all have? I said, yes, sir. He said, can you take me to see Pastor Jen? I said, I said, yes, I can. So I let him in the building. He, he stopped. He said, the place is beautiful. I said, thank you, sir. He said, you think Pastor Jennings will be preaching today? I said, no, he came down here to work. <laughs> I had my mask on and my hat back with you. He said, uh, how long you been with Pastor Jennings? I told him. Yeah. <laughs> I told him. I said, oh, I've been with him since he started. He said, well, you sound like you know him pretty well. <laughs> I said, well, sir, let me put it to you this way. Just me and Pastor Jennings are one. <laughs> yeah. I said, we, <laughs> we're very close. So every time I take him around, he stop, look around. I said, do you want to meet him? I, he said, that's what I'm in here for. I said, all right. So I took him back around there. I just walked around with him. <laughs> <laughs> then I got to the corner where I was marking out and measuring for the new baptismal pool. Took my cap off and dropped my mask. The man grabbed his face and just shook his head. He said, why did you do this to me? I said, well, I want to make sure you're not up to no good. 
So he embraced me and welcomed me to the neighborhood. Reverend somebody. He said, we watch you every week here. And uh, he said, I'm just curious. I said, what is that? He said, how often would you be down here when the church opened? I said, oh, I don't know. I said, I travel. He said, I know you travel. I said, why you ask? He made me laugh. He said, well, I just want to count my members while I have them. <laughs> Amen. He know. Truth of God is the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. Amen. So, uh, it was a Methodist church, very well maintained. But you know, they don't have no Holy Ghost to tear up nothing. That's right. So we got them all in there, and got the carpet ripped up, and the brothers brought their tools, and took the brackets off the pews, and had that shipped. And me and the brothers went to Lowe's, and got my carpet picked out, and my stone, and heating technician, and everything. And I do hope we have this place up and running this year also. God be our helper. The Lord is really blessing the church, isn't it? But we thank God. We're only in the beginning of March. And he blessed us with three temples so far this year. And we're just in the beginning of March. We are indebted to him for his commitment to his own word. The Bible said the word was with God. In other words, he's committed to his own word. And just like God is committed to his word, we are committed to that same word that God brought. Now I want to update our brothers and sisters of the great victory God gave us in Miami, Florida last week. The week before that, we were in Orlando. And we baptized 158. The week before that. And last week, we baptized 183 souls in just two days. Amen. So the powers that be certainly can see yes. that except the Lord build the house, your labor is in vain. How much plainer can God make it? You have to be called and sent to do this. You can be called but not sent. That Bible? Oh, yeah. Jesus said, Many are called, few chosen. It is written, The Lord hath spoken and hath called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. And I often say, The beginning, you're just in the beginning stages of it. Now, let me say this while it comes to mind. I want to remind our viewers, because many of you hear us, but you're not listening. Then I get to those that were baptized. The truth of God is the most outspoken and the most strictest program that's coming out of anybody's church, anywhere in America or the world. You will get more divine biblical information from this program than you would in your lifetime going to anybody's church. Whenever anything is known, you always have them that jump on your coattail who's up to no good. Then you have those that try to copycat. What you call it? Plagiarism? Yeah. 
Amen. You got religious folk do the same thing. Now to my viewers, I want you to hear the old man because you have a fraud here in Philadelphia uh -huh. and West Philadelphia and he hijacked the name of our program and called himself the Truth of God Ministries. Apostle, or rather Bishop H. Parker, false apostle. And I want this rabbit to hear me because I'm hunting rabbits this morning. <laughs> Old hypocrite. This money lover went as far as got it getting our book of scriptures that we folks can write in for and then sell them and pocket the money. Amen. So to my viewers, that's writing this fellow who's under the pretext. Uh -huh. He's with Pastor Jennings. I don't know him. In fact, I can say like Jesus, I never knew you. <laughs> Depart from it. Get away from it. You know, you got to be lower than a dog that you would try to make money off the truth. That's true. So you that follow the truth of God, there are several so-called preachers that use the name Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, First Church, Truth of God Ministries, or you will hear them always using Geno Jenner's name to get subscribers. <coughs> if you want to know who's with the truth of God, you write in. Don't you send these crooks no money. Don't subscribe to them. Nothing. Let them go get a job on the chain gang. It's a disgrace. So this Bishop H. Parker, a possum, <laughs> is not with the truth of God. No. So you that thought he was, you should have been paying attention to what we've been preaching. Yeah. Revelation chapter 2, quickly. Re Revelation chapter 2, we're right at verse 2. Get I, this. I know thy works. I know your works and thy labor and your labor and thy patience and patience and how thou canst not bear and them which are evil and them that's evil and thou hast tried them try them which say they are apostles what's the result and are not how did we find them and has found them liars a real apostle won't do that oh, no. No. no a real apostle won't do that. But when you love money, don't you hear the Bible say the love of money is the root or the source of all evil. These fellas don't fear God and don't fear hell. No. So there are several on social media viewers pretending to be with the truth of God. And to get viewers, they use my name. You write in and we'll let you know who's with the truth of God. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Uh, C Rock Smooth, he's doing a good job of getting this message out. Tony Harvin been doing a good job. I'm glad that he's back. And Brother Jairu from the Philippines, he's been doing a good job. And well, the truth of God staff, that goes without saying, they've been doing an excellent job. But there's others, and there's some that's doing it right. 
Then you have those like this crook Parker. Amen. You know, it's a sad thing. I'm not interested in what he tried to do. If you want to witness to the truth, you witness to it. But you keep it orderly. That's right. Now, whenever you follow the guidelines of Bible, you know, the Bible have guidelines. That's right. And you got to respect them guidelines to follow them. When you don't respect God, you don't respect God's guidelines. That's right. And you got to be a servant of Satan when you don't respect God. That's right. Jesus said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, that's, right. that's why the truth of God has been so prosperous. We believe on him. Just like the Bible says it, we believe it. And ain't nobody going to get me to go another direction. When I say nobody, <clears throat> I mean nobody. You believe it, Frank? Too many have tried it. All have failed. That's right. Can't offer me nothing. What can you offer me that haven't been offered? If you offer me millions, you're late. They already did that. I don't have the millions, but I still have my soul. If you offer me land, they did that. We turned that down and God gave us plenty of land. If you offer me your organization, they done that. When they see they couldn't get me to bend, they kept their organization, but the church kept growing. In other words, what men offer don't mean nothing to us. What God offer mean everything to us. So we are, we are very, very, very settled in the truth of God's message. Yes, we are. I mean, I'm settled in it. Until I'm declaring the heaven, I can say like the apostles, hear, O heaven, give ear, O earth. That's what the prophets declare. And I'm right. telling heaven to hear. Yeah. And the earth to hear that we refuse to move the size of the baby toe toenail of a gnat on his left foot. Jesus is coming. And uh, the coming of the Lord, I see it moreover, it's getting closer. As Russia invade the Ukraine, who's to say that's the only stop Mr. Putin going to make? Ukraine, I don't think, wasn't invaded since the 1940s. The last time it was invaded, Hitler invaded it. During the Blitzkrieg. And uh, Poland and all the other areas. Even the United Nations are afraid to get but so involved because they know Putin will fight back. That's right. That's right. And uh, until they have a no-fly zone, but the head of the United Nations was asked, all right, suppose Russia violate the no-fly zone. Are you going to send planes to shoot them down? They said no. Because if we start sending planes to shoot them down, now you're going to have an all-out world war. Ain't nothing going to happen that don't fulfill prophecy. <coughs> Someone said, are you worried? No. Why? The Bible says there shall be wars. And rumors of wars. And rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. That's why I'm worried. But the Lord told me not to be. And he went as far as saying, see, that you're not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But what? But the end is not yet. So I'm pretty cool about it. That right. let me know I still got time on the clock. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We still got time on the clock. The end. Hallelujah. It's Glory not to yet. God. It's not yet. That's right. Still facing it, but it's not here yet. 
That's right. I want to say, well, suppose World War III break out. Still ain't over. Nation shall rise against nation. If World War III break out, then it got to be fulfilled. Isn't that the last war? No. No. The last war is Armageddon. That's right. Which are the descendants of Noah, Gog, Magog, Mesech, to Balcom, that will come from the four corners of the earth that originate from the Middle East. Not time yet. Not time. Glory to God, I say it's not time yet. For nation shall rise against nation. So what Putin is doing is acting out what God says. That's right. Nation shall rise against nation. Rise against nation. And kingdom, kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. There shall be poverty. And pestilences. Pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse places. And a whole lot of different places. All these. All these. Are the beginning of sorrows beginning. So sorrow didn't just arrive this year, did it? No. Sorrows came before all of us was born. That's right. The beginning of sorrow. The beginning. Many here now that live through several wars. Yeah. Amen. Several wars. World War I, Korea, and Vietnam, and amen. Some was born when World War I was over. Just got over good. Yeah. But the end is not yet. It's not yet. All right, so you viewers, you please bear this in mind. Don't be sending money to none of these religious scams. Right. You got to be lower than a two-legged dog. Two-legged. <laughs> and those front legs are bow-legged. <laughs> that you will rob people. You know, social media, there's some good you can get out of it. I know because the truth of the gospel is being published, God knows. Many ministers are even sending in their credentials, realizing the sincerity of what it is to get up here. That's right. I was thinking earlier how different guests came to the church yesterday in Portsmouth, even had a man came, young man, in the Marine Corps, 10 years a sergeant. He said, I know you're not having church. I just came down here because my brother told me you started a new church and you would be here in person. And I just got in my car and drove all the way here just to see you in person to say thank you. So I just want to tell you thank you. He said, you changed my entire life. He said, I served 10 years in Marine Corps. He said, I want to get my life together. I'm married. I got a son. I want to get my life together so I can get discharged out of here. He said, because you taught me to be in God's army. Wonderful. And you said God army is in conflict with America. And they said, uh, I got to get out of here. Wonderful. Even folk from the neighborhood came wandering in. Some were standing out taking pictures. Guys from the hood. Came wandering in. Yo, Gino Jennings. Yeah. What's up? I said, everything is everything. Came in off the street, shaking my hand. Hey, man, give me the 1973 slapping five. Some guys came in. They, you can, I, I, they, I was standing in the back, and I could see through the window. There was a group of young guys was coming in. They was hitting each other. Man, you better pull your pants up. <laughs> you know, we can't go in there like that. So they came in. One young man was holding his pants. <laughs> I started to embrace them so they can fall and embarrass them. <laughs> but they're listening. Yeah. Over to God. They're listening. One young man said, can I come on in? I said, come on in. He, he had his hair, you know, the buckwheat. He was rubbing his head. I said, what's the matter, son? Your hair itch? He said, no, Pastor Dennis. He said, to hear you preaching is one thing. He said, but to stand in front of you like this, he said, oh, I'm kind of embarrassed. I said, I'm so happy for you. I 
saying, now what you do, you, you go into your neighborhood to the barber shop and let them, let them cut off all them little fellas on your head. He bust out laughing. He said, Pastor Jennings, I hope to be coming here. A whole lot of folk in the neighborhood just can't wait for the church to open. So the message is prominent no matter where it goes. The different nationalities hear it, respect it. Even when preachers try so hard to convince people that we don't believe the Bible. You know I was told that there's some fellas on social media telling people that we don't even believe in Jesus. You know, that's desperate. That's desperate. I don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> and the progress we have gotten by that name. That's it. That's even it. the devil know better than that. That's right. Everybody must come and do this. Everybody. The way God ordered it. That's right. I want to say to Las Vegas, Nevada, and Los Angeles, and Seattle, Washington, God willing, we'll be in your area in a few more days. Springfield, Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts, yeah. God willing, your time is coming up as well. Hallelujah. To all the brothers and sisters throughout America, remember, our youth conference is coming up tax weekend. April 15th, tax weekend. Also, uh, my wife and I wedding an anniversary. Amen. Amen. In Greenville, Greensboro, North Carolina. Now, all of you thousands of people that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you make it there to Greensboro and wish up God in spirit and in truth. Don't just repent and be baptized and then just sit around and do nothing. No. We're laboring to save your soul from hell. That's right. I'm not traveling to make a name for myself. Mm -mm. I'm tired of traveling. I'm tired right now. I probably look the way I feel. I am. I'm tired of traveling. We've been traveling consistently. For 38 years. That's right. Preaching the word of God, saving now thousands by God's permission. All right, let's get this baptismal list. As I mentioned, 183 last week in Miami, eight in uh, headquarters, nine in Bronx, six in Baltimore, two in Rocky Mount. three in Atlanta, Georgia, one in Macon, three in Columbia, South Carolina. Four in Memphis, five in Detroit, two in North Chicago, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, two in Minnesota, four in Sacramento, one in Fresno, one in uh, Tulak, California, two in Canada, nine in London, three in Johannesburg, one in Cape Town, South Africa. That's 250 souls in one week. Amen. So we thank God for that. I understand that there's a young brother here who wants to be restored, who was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ some time ago. All right, come on up real quick, young man. Come on, come on up around here. All right, go on and pray for you while I have you. Let us all stand. <clears throat> Eternal, everlasting God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have said in thine word, Brethren, if one be overtaken in a fall, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one and the spirit of meekness. Thank God, considering thyself, lest thine also be tempted. We thank you how you didn't cut them off in the midst of his sins. We ask you to forgive them. Hallelujah. 
of every sin, every transgression, and blot out, thank God, every iniquity. Restore his heart <clears throat> and his mind, soul, and spirit that he may commit his ways unto your will. Forgive him of every sin. Hallelujah. That he may contend earnestly for the faith once delivered unto the saints. We we'll ask you to watch over him, keep him and preserve him, that he may stay in the truth of the gospel. Give him stability, a stable mind, stable heart, that he may never again wander away from your holy word. Stand by him, glory to God, and be with him. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus, the great God of heaven and earth. Let everyone say amen. amen. God bless you, son. All right. Let's go to work in the book of scripture. And the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Revelation, chapter 1. Follow me. Get this. Revelation, chapter 1. We'll start at verse 1. All right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing. Revelation means that which hath been revealed. That which the Lord made known. That's right. You know, when God was in the flesh, the purpose of him being in the flesh was so the flesh, the son of God, the Messiah, can be an example, lay a pattern for everyone that come after to follow. That's right. Teaching us how to pray. For even here yeah. too were you called. Yeah, teaching us how to pray. Leaving a lesson, how to fast, whether to pray to flesh or whether to pray to spirit. Son of man never, hear me good, pray to his own flesh. No. Never. And if he didn't pray to his own flesh, nor do we. That's right. We pray to the spirit that made that flesh. There was a separation between human, divine. Many operations. Yes. Book of Corinthians, quickly. That's right. But by the same Lord. First Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 6. Says what? And there are diversities of operations. There are different functions. But different it, works. That's right. Different Operations, different deeds, different doings. And there are diversities of operations. There are diversity of operations. But it is the same God. Who is it? The same God. Not two Lords. The same God. Which Not, here. That's Not right. Jesus is one Lord and God is another. No. 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 I want you to hear this good. The mm -hmm. same Lord. It is the yeah, same that God. made the heavens and the earth walked on the earth That's right. in flesh. That's right. The same Lord that appeared to Abraham as Melchizedek walked on the earth in flesh. That's right. Same Lord that appeared unto Moses or Musa yeah. as a bush blazing in fame. Is the same Lord that walked on the earth in flesh. Same Lord that appeared to Manoah, thank God and his wife. Is the same Lord that walked on earth. Glory to God in flesh. The same Lord that appeared in the days of Elijah as a cloud in the form of a hand. Glory to God, hallelujah, it's the same Lord 
that walked the earth in flesh. The same Lord that appeared as a hand in the days of Daniel, writing on the wall, meany, meany, tekel, you fossin. Glory to God is the same Lord that walked the earth. Thank God in flesh. The same Lord that move on the prophet to say, my little finger shall be thicker than my father loins. It's the same Lord. Glory to God. Don't you hear what the Apostle Paul says? And there are diversities of operation. Diversity. Different. That's right. Different kinds. That's right. Different forms. That's right. Same Lord that moved on Nahum. And said God have his own way in the whirlwind. That's right. Came here and walked in flesh. flesh. Same Lord her voice sound like thunder and then sound like a lion and then come with a small still voice. That's right. Look at the different functions. That's right. Mm -hmm. Speak like thunder, speaking with authority. Sound like many waters, let you know he control creation. That's right. Small still voice, now I come to comfort you. That's right. What did Paul, hallelujah, what did Paul say? And there are diversities of operation. Diversities. Yeah. A whole lot of operations. But it is the same God. Not another. The same God. Same God. Which worketh all. Let's have the verse again. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 6. And there are diversities of operation. Diversities. He has a whole lot of functions to my God. That's right. Amen. That's right. He was manifested in flesh, but he was not the flesh that he was manifested in. That's right. Get me. The flesh was the Messiah. The flesh was begotten by the Father. That's right. What do you mean? God made that flesh because he needed a house. He need to hide himself. That's right. God wanted to hide himself. That's right. My God, it's just so much power to him. You know, there's some light. You got to throw something more for you to take the light of it. That's right. Give me the book of Isaiah, Isaiah and the book of Hebrews. Isaiah chapter 45 and at verse I 15. I want to show you he hid himself, and then Paul told us what he hid himself in. He had to use a veil. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did the prophet Isaiah say? Isaiah 45 and verse 15. I want all you three gods and two Lord folk to get this. Amen. Many operations. That's right. Diversities of Diversity, operations. Diversity. All kinds of operations. But it is the same God. Same God. Which worketh all in all. Same God. Someone wrote me and said, if you think one God... Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and He is everything. You's a fool. Then let me die a fool. That's right. I take my one God That's and right. challenge angels, huh. and challenge angels in heaven, and challenge men on earth, and challenge hell itself. That's right. Lord, we take God, the one God of the prophets, is the God of God. Yeah. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did the prophet Isaiah tell us? Isaiah 45 and verse 15. What is it? Verily, thou art a God. Verily. Amen. Lord, we take God, thou art a God. That hidest thyself. Thou that hide, that camouflage thyself. You know, God camouflaged himself. That's right. Who is it? O God of Israel, the Savior. What? Oh, God of Israel, the Savior. He camouflaged himself. You know, when you hide yourself, you camouflage yourself. That's right. That's what God did. That's right. Amen. He went to the house of David and got in the tribe of Judah. Yeah. And he hid himself. Hid himself. Hid himself in a veil. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10. Follow me. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 20. All right. By a new and living way. Uh-oh. Amen. He established something new. That's right. Did something he never done before. That's right. Somebody wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, you're mighty dumb. God, was, God came in the flesh before when Jacob wrestled with the angel. That was flesh. Give me Bible that said so. Right. That's right. 
That's right. You can't toss to that Pastor Jennings and get away with it. No. Give me Bible that says Jacob handle flesh. Amen. Right. Well, it has to be flesh. You can't handle a spirit. That's your lying mouth. That's right. Who said you can't handle spirit? That's right. God can let you do whatever he wants. Yes, Amen. You can't handle a spirit? You can't? You can't. Who said so? That's right. Well, it has to be flesh. Ain't no Bible said that. No. You can't toss that on me. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Do you hear this? Hebrews 10 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. by, by a new and living by, way. And then I want Job. Right. Because you got folks that said you can't see, see a spirit. spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. let's, let's knock that out the park. Hebrews 10 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. By a new and living way. You can't see a spirit. Then I want to give Bible where a spirit ate. That's right. I want Genesis. Yes. I'm going to give you Bible where God ate and his angels ate and they were served by a human. Yeah. That's right. So I want to say God don't have to eat. God ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> but he can do whatever he chooses. Right. Eh? That's right. This is too deep for the kernel mind. That's right. But I'm going to toss you in deep water today. Amen. Get this. Hebrews 10 and verse 20. All right. By a new and living way. By a new and living way. Which he has consecrated which he for, ordained for us. Through the veil. Through the veil. That, through, yeah, through the veil. Through, through the, the camouflage. Veil. Through the covering. That's right. What was the covering? That is to say his, his skin. His flesh. His skin. His flesh. His body. His flesh. His son. His flesh. His child. His flesh. His begotten man child. His flesh. His flesh was the Messiah. Right. His flesh That's was right. the prophet. His flesh was the apostle. That's right. His flesh was the son of God. Amen. His flesh was the son of David. Yeah. His flesh was the lamb of God. That's right. His flesh was Mary's child. That's yeah. right. Now let me show you where God was located in the flesh. Amen. Book of Corinthians. Book of Corinthians. Stay ahead of me, son. Do it. God. Let's get chapter and verse quickly now. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Quickly. Verse 19. What is it? To wit. To wit. That God. What? That God. Certain one. That's right. They let you know no one else can do this but that God. That God. Ain't nobody else can do this but that God. That's right. And that God is my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. To wit. To wit. That God. That God. Was in Christ. That God was where? In Christ. Was in Christ. Reconciling the world unto himself. Redeeming the world back unto himself. So that's why God was manifesting in the flesh so he can pull the world back to him because the world wandered away from him right. when Adam fell. That's right. So a sacrifice had to be given. That's right. Offering had to be made. That's right. And God could not offer himself. That's right. Because of the nature that he had. That's right. It took death and the shedding of blood and the spirit can't die and the spirit cannot bleed. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. Glory to God, do you hear this? In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 5. Follow me and hear this. Hebrews 10 and verse 5. Wherefore, when he cometh Wherefore, into the world. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. He said, sacrifice he said, and offering. Sacrifice and offering. Thou wouldest not. What did he do, son? But a body. But a body. Hast thou prepared hast me. Hast thou prepared me. And, 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 mm -hmm. and the body that was prepared. It was prepared and made and fixed yeah. and put together That's right. in David's house. That's right. That's right. What was the name of that house, Pastor Jennings? Mary. Mary. Or as the Arabs call her, Miriam. That's right. The son of God was the body. A lot of fools keep writing me. Every time he talk about son of God, he talk about a body. Hmm. All right. When you born, how do you think the doctors know whether you male or female? That's right. They look at a spirit. Hmm. They look at your body. Amen. Take the body and put it on the scale. That's right. See how fat you got in your mama. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Put the body on the scale. Amen. Sometimes that body says seven. Sometimes it says eight. Sometimes it says eleven. 
Sometimes, well, it just keep going. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's how he, the Bible called Jesus a man child. Man child. I want you to hear this. Follow me. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. Sacrifice and offering thy wood is not, but a body has not prepared. Has not prepared me. All right, give me the book of Genesis. For them that says that uh, Jacob was wrestling with the angel and the angel was flesh. Ain't no Bible said nowhere. That's adding. That's adding. Bible said, don't add, don't take away. That's Give right. me when the Lord and the two angels came to Lot quickly. In the book of Genesis chapter 8, chapter 19. Follow me in the Bible. Genesis chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Yes. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Yes. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. You better not tell me he saw the Trinity. <laughs> I'll slap you over. That's right. But you see that you just can't jump and put stuff in the Bible. We, right. we come and take it back out. That's right. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Genesis chapter 19, we're starting at verse 1. And you better not tell me he saw two lords. Oh, right. No. Hear this good. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. There came two messengers. To Sodom at even. Yes. And Lot sat at the gate of Sodom. And what? And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. Then what? And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. Yes. And he said, Behold, now, my lords, turn now in. Now, my lords. Turn in, that I pray they had you. authority. That's right. That's what that means. That means they had authority. That's right. Not one was God and one was Jesus. Right. Even Abraham is called Lord. That's right. Sarah called him Lord. That's right. Because he's over the house. Yeah. I'm my wife's Lord. Mm -hmm. And I'm the Lord of all seven of my children. That's right. The one said, you see that? That man declared himself to be God. No. <laughs> no, no. When my wife married me, she married her Lord. That's right. Nice. Amen. Wonderful. When I come home and she hugs me, she hugs her Lord. That's right. Amen. That's, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. You know that burned the britches. Oh, yeah. I don't care if it do burn the britches. Oh, yeah. But this Lord had to submit to the Lord. Oh, That's yeah. right. Nice. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. What is it? And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you. Yes. Enter your servant's house and tarry all night and watch. And, the and you shall rise up early and go your ways. Yeah. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. All right. Now the book of, I'd rather read the book of Genesis Come chapter on, 18. Come on, son. Let's get to the point now. Genesis chapter 18. We'll start at verse 18. Listen. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. Yes. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Yes. For I know him and that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment. Yeah. That the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. Uh -huh. And the Lord said. The Lord says. The, the Lord. Lord said. And the Lord said. That's God talking. That's yes. right. That what? Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. What I'm going to do. And because their sin is very grievous. Uh -huh. I will go down now. I. I will. I will go down now. And see whether they have done altogether according see to the cry. See what they've done according to what? According to the cry of it. Yes. Which has come unto me, and if not, I will know. And what happened? And the men turned their faces from thence and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. The men turned their faces from thence. The two angels. That's right. Went to Sodom and Gomorrah. But Abraham stood but yet. But Abraham stood there. Before the Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you hear this? And the men turned. The men. Turned their faces turned from thence. Turned their faces. And went towards Sodom. Then what? But Abraham stood yet before the All Lord. All right, let's see where he began to feed him. Quickly. Now the book of Genesis chapter 18, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. The Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men they stood saw, by him. Look at him. Hmm. Three men. Three men stood by him. But who did he see? The Lord. And what did he saw? Three men. No oh, one said, well, you see that? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. No, now you got to balance that out with numbers. God is not a man. That's right. Nice. Glory to God. That's right. God is not a man that he should lie. Right. Neither is he the son of man That's right. that he should repent. That's right. So God is not a natural man of flesh and blood. No. 
But the form that he appeared in, and you better not tell me it was flesh, I'll make you read it. That's right. That's right. I want to say, well, you can't see a spirit. We'll show you that in the book of Job. Sure. That's right. Come on, son. Now in the book of Job. Finish where you are. Come on. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And what? And when he saw them. And, well, wait a minute. When he saw them. He ran to meet them. He ran to meet them. From the tent door. Then what? And bowed himself toward the ground. Yeah. And said, my Lord. And said, my Lord. If now I have found favor in thy sight. What did he do? Pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Yes. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet. Let me get some water and wash your feet. And rest yourselves under the tree. And what? And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your heart. Now I said it had to be flesh. How can you? See a spirit and wash the feet. That's right. Go to the book of uh, Job. Job. Then I believe I want the book of Tibet. Yes. When the angel, Azariah, stood before the prophet a good long time. That's right. And the angel had to tell him who he really was. That's right. And the angel began to tell him why he didn't eat or drink. Right. You see, spirit can eat or drink if it choose by if God's choose will. To. That's right. Wonderful. That's too deep for you, folks. Oh, That's yeah. right. But I'm going to preach it anyway. <laughs> Amen. So I said, well, why would a spirit eat? It don't need food. Who's to say that it eat to need anything? Right. When do God have to do something because he need to? That's right. Yeah? That's right. Or did God, he show you these things to show you how great his power is. That's right. All right. Now in the book of Job, chapter 4, we'll start at verse 12. Hold on a minute. Now a thing was secretly brought to uh -oh. me. A thing. Was secretly brought to me. I want this to be good for you folk that say you can't see a spirit. Hmm. All right. A thing was secretly brought to me. And mine ear received a little thereof. And... In thoughts from the visions of the night, what happened? when deep sleep falleth on men, uh -huh. fear came upon me and trembling, fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones made to my shake. Bones shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. Wait a minute! If he can't see it, how he gonna see it pass before That's his right. face? That's right. Not only is he gonna tell us what passed, he noticed the movement of it. Then a spirit passed before my face. Then what? The hair of my flesh stood up. And what happened? It stood still. It stood still. It stood still. Still. But what passed before my face? A spirit passed before my face. You can't see a spirit, huh? That's right. God can let you see what he want. That's right. What do you think when the prophet saw God, what you thought they were looking at? <laughs> When God appeared to the prophets, they saw the spirit. Spirit. When the angels came to the prophets, they saw spirit. That's right. I want to say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. But if they're going to be a spirit, how can it be in the shape of a man? Hold that quickly and give me Daniel. Yes, Daniel. So much coming to my mind. Yeah. Let's see how the Bible describes Gabriel. Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 21. And after you read that, switch to Hebrews real fast and see how God make his angels. Right. And then go back to Daniel. Right. In the I want to show you the nature. Wait, 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 wait. Give me Hebrews first. First. I want to get the nature of the angels. That's right. And up in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7. I'm going to build with Bible and take oh, you to yes. school today. Hebrews chapter Hear me, one. world. Get this. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7. And of the angels, he says. Of the angels, he says. Who maketh his angels spirits. He maketh his angels what? Spirits. And what? And his ministers a flame of fire. What is the nature of his angels? Spirits. All right, now give me the book of Daniel. Now, Let's see. Why, what did he call Jabril or Gabriel? Daniel chapter 9 and at verse 21. Then we are finish up, Joe. Daniel chapter 9 then and verse 21. Then we are going to Yea, was I was speaking in prayer. While I was praying. Even the man Gabriel. Wait. Amen. Amen. What was Gabriel called? Even the man, Gabriel. And the nature of angels, Paul said he made them what? Who maketh his angels spirits. And what did Daniel call Gabriel? Even the man, Gabriel. You better not tell me Gabriel's flesh. I make you lick it up. That's right. This is what I mean by being able to harmonize the Bible. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Angels are the nature of spirit. That's right. And Gabriel is called a man. Why? That's the shape that he had. That's right. That's the form that he had. Yeah. Daniel said what? Yes, yeah, while I was speaking in prayer. While I was praying. Even the man Gabriel. Even the man 
Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, he was caused to fly in a hurry. Touched me about touched the time about of the, the evening time. oblation. Wait a minute. Amen. Not only did he saw the spirit, he felt it. Touched me about the. How he gonna know what the angel done if he don't feel it? That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Go read the book of Job. Finish Job up now. Back in Job 4, at verse 14. I want to take my time and show you the greatness in the various operations of our God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Job chapter 4 and at verse 14. Get me. Fear came upon me and trembling. And what? Which made all my bones to shake. Yes. Then a spirit passed before my face. Then a spirit. A spirit passed before passed. my face. Before my face, the hair of my, the flesh, hair stood up. Of my flesh stood up. It stood still. Now he's looking at the movement of the spirit. The spirit that I saw, it, 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 it stood still. Stood still. It stopped moving. But I could not discern, discern the form thereof. It had a particular, I couldn't make out the shape. Yeah. That's right. I couldn't make out the form. That's right. But I was able to know that the nature of it is not human, it's divine. Divine. It don't have a particular shape. It don't have a particular form, but I know it's not of this earth. That's right. Amen. Are you listening at this? Oh, yes. That's right. What is it? Then a spirit passed before my face. Spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And what? It stood still. It stood still. But I could not discern the form thereof. I couldn't make the shape out. An image was before my eyes. But it was an image. An image was before my was eyes. Was before my eyes. There I'm was, looking at it. There was silence. Then I, everything got quiet. And I heard a voice saying, uh -oh. Shall mortal man be now more just than God? Now start talking. That's right. Voice coming. That's right. Shall mortal man be fleshy man be more just than God be more honest than God shall a man be more shall pure a man be more pure clean than his maker than his creator behold he put no trust in his servants he don't put no trust in his servants and his angels he charged with folly his angels backslid the ones he charged with folly was Lucifer and the third that fell out That's right. he charged them with folly with folly yeah. are you getting me That's nice. right. so God can show himself, viewers, and manifest himself, many shapes, yeah. many forms. So when man tell you, you can't see a spirit, they don't know the Bible. No. It's just too deep for them. Oh, it's yeah. way over their head. That's right. That's right. God appeared unto countless of men. He appeared to David. Yes. One fellow said, well, when God appear he ain't spirit he just the manifestation of God you know you, you, you go back to school mm. if it's a manifestation of God that's simply spirit of God manifesting himself in that particular way that's whether right. it's a form whether it's a voice whether it's in movement that's right when a thing is manifest is seen and heard it's the activation of God that's right Oh, in the book God. of Exodus chapter 19. Listen at this. And we'll start reading at verse 17. Yes. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Moses brought the people out the camp to do what? To meet with God. That's what I'm looking to do. That's yes. right. Yes. I'm looking. Amen. The meet. With God. With God. With God. Or say what? The Bible said the Lord himself yes. shall descend from heaven with a shout. That's, that's right. God coming. That's right. That one say that's Jesus coming. That's right. That's, right. that's God coming. That's right. The Bible said the Lord himself. Self. And Jesus said, I, the Lord said, I'm Jesus. And the Bible said there's one Lord. Lord. And the Bible said, know you the Lord. He's yes. God. That's right. That's right. What you're talking. <laughs> Do you true. hear this? And it's Exodus 19 and verse 17. What is it? And Moses brought forth the people Moses out of the camp. Brought the people out the camp. To meet with God. To meet with God. And they stood at the nether part they of the mount. Stood where? At the nether part of the mount. Yes. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke uh -huh. because the Lord descended upon it in fire. The Lord descended upon it how? In fire. And Paul said in the book of Corinthians yes. that there are divers operations. And there are diversities there of operations. There are diversity. Of operations. Of operations. But it is the same God. 
Who? Which, wait, wait a minute. It's who? It is the same God. Now let's go back to Exodus and see how he came down. Back in Exodus 19 and verse 18. Why is and Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke. Yes. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Who came? The Lord descended upon it in fire. He came how? The Lord descended upon it in fire. And that, hallelujah. Glory to God. The fire that came down now is in the church. That's right. It's the Holy Ghost now. That's right. What else they say there? And the smoke thereof. The smoke thereof, thereof. Ascended as the smoke of a furnace. Ascended as. As the, the smoke, smoke of, a furnace. of a furnace. And the whole mount quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet. When the voice of the trumpet. Sounded long and waxed sounded louder, long and louder, and louder and louder. Moses spake and God answered him by a voice. Manifestation. That's right. Spirit. That's right. Still spirit. That's right. Appear as fire. That's right. And then start talking. <laughs> Moses spake and God answered him by a voice. You know, that's 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 a good relationship. Oh yes. Right. Lord, God, right. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade that relationship oh, for nobody. No, no way. Yeah. And the Lord came down. And to talk to God and then God start talking. Hallelujah to God back to you. Oh, what a sweet sound. That's right. It's nothing like it. God knows. God knows. I said, nothing I said. That's right. Like the voice of the Most High. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai. And what? On the top of the mount. And, and the Lord called Moses. The Lord called Moses. Up to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. And the Lord said unto Moses. You see all this? That's right. Who was it? The Lord. And who was it? Amen. The Lord. Who was it, Phil? Was it Jesus or was it God? You're infidel. Come on, infidel. You only got one Lord. That's, that's right. Doing all these diverse operations. That's right. Come down as fire. Talk to Moses. Talk to him. <clears throat> now tell Moses, come on up. And the Lord said unto Moses, go down, charge the people. Now you go down and charge the folk. Lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze. Yes. And many of them perish. Now, do you hear this? Amen. So there are many operations from this one God. And there are diversities of operations. That same one God was manifested in the flesh. Right. And the Son of God was the body of the Son of Man. And the reason why it was a body, because he wanted the church to know the lessons of God. That's right. Made a body, give it many members. The church is a body and have many members. That's right. But still, one body. One body. Son of man got baptized, and the Spirit of God come as a dove. That's right. Lighting upon him. Lighting upon him. That don't mean God is a bird. No. But the Spirit of God manifests himself. That's right. As a dove, the light upon the body of the Son of God, That's letting right. you know that God, the Spirit, approved the performance of the Son of Man. And Jesus answering said unto him. What? Now we're in the book of Matthew chapter 3 and verse 15. What did he say? And Jesus answering said unto him, suffer it to be so Stop. now. John, come on and baptize me because we got to fulfill what's right. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Yes. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized. When he was baptized. Went up straightway out of the water. Then what? And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the spirit of God. Descending like a dove. And well, Pastor Jennings, he can't be God because Jesus got baptized and God spoke from heaven. Right. So why he can't be God? That's right. That's the only dumb reason. <laughs> well, where was God at? In heaven. In heaven. Where else? In Jesus. In Jesus. Where else? He lighted upon him as a dove. As a dove. Where else? In John, because John was born with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Where else? Lower than the parts of the earth. That's right. One Lord. One Lord. Come jump on me and tell me it's more than one Lord. <laughs> tell me that. Amen. Amen. And see if I don't cram you with what? one Lord. That's right. I only got one God here. That's right. And this one God came and put on a body of flesh and blood and then left us an example. It wasn't no one that can leave an example perfect but That's him. Right. That's right. Revelation chapter 5, heaven was searched. Yeah. Revelation. And the earth was searched. Mm -hmm. And he went down underneath the earth and that was searched. And I saw a strong angel. And no angel. man was found worthy to open the book and the loot of seven seals thereof. And I and wept John much. John said I wept much. Because no man because was found no worthy man to was open found and to read the book. To open 
open and to read neither the to book, look thereof. neither to look thereof. And one of the elders saith unto me, In other me, words, no man was worthy to come fulfill the prophets. That's right. So one of the elders, what you mean one of the elders? Around the throne was 24 seats. Four seats. And upon the seats sat 24 elders clothed in white raiment, and they had on their head crowns of gold. 12 plus 12 is 24. You have 12 tribes of Israel, and they chose 12 men that represent the 12 apostles. So the 24 elders represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. Thank God. But one of the elders came to John and said, Weep not. Behold the line of the tribe of, of Judah. The, uh, why, why get one, one of the elders? That one represents what the prophets have said, and that same one represents the fulfillment of what the apostles have witnessed. Amen. Eh? And one of the elders saith unto one me. One! One of the elders. Of the elders. Saith unto me. What? Weep not. Now, now I want yeah, now I want everybody to hear me and get what I'm about to tell you. Amen. Whenever the apostles saw wonders in heaven, please don't be that dumb. And don't be that, let me get broken English, that ignorant. Yeah. That's right. Don't be that ignorant. Oh, no. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Don't be that ignorant to think everything they looked at in heaven by the Spirit was actually taking place in heaven. Right. The book of Revelation is a threefold book. That's right. Past, present, future. That's right. That's right. And the apostles, God will give them visions in heaven, in heaven about what happened in the past and the effect of the present because there are future events That's that right. were shown in heaven but all the events thank God many will take place here on earth. That's right. I want you to get this now. And one of the elders saith unto me weep not. What? Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Now here yeah, this already happened. Right. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. David's root. Hath prevailed. Wait. Hath prevailed. He did what? Hath prevailed. But he saw it in heaven. That's right. And even he said he hath. Hath prevailed. He already done. Right. He done it already. That's right. He came here. Yeah. He came in the volume of the book. Right. So for the prophets. Walked around here in the body. Right. Laid hands on the sick. Raised the dead. Opened the eyes of the blind. Yeah. Lay man talk. Dumb again. Lay man walk. Dumb again to speak. Died on the cross, went on down to hell, come on back, ascended above all heavens. Thank God. And John walked with all that. That's right. That's right. And now God Almighty move on John That's right. and take him back. back. Take him way back. That's right. To talk about what already happened. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. And give me the book of Revelation where I saw a, a lamb as it has been slain. Right. I got to dissect that also. Oh, yeah. Right. All right. Weep not. And give me away with clothes of vexed, dipped in blood, and written on him was the word of God. Right. All right. Yeah. Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. Weep not. Amen. Oh, yeah. Don't cry. Behold. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The what? lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. David's root. Hold it. David root. Yeah. That's right. What you mean? He sprung from David. But before he sprung from David, David sprung from him. That's right. Eh? That's right. David came from God, and then God went to David's house and made a body and let the body come from David. That's right. In other words, David is Jesus' Lord, but first Jesus was David's Lord. Right. Yeah. That's right. Why? Jesus Christ is God. And the Bible said, Have we not all one Father? One Father. Have not one God created us. created us? So God is David's Father by creating that King David. And then God visited the house of David and made a child. And then that child come from the womb of the woman that come from the tribe of Judah, the house of David, right. from the stock of Abraham. And now he's called Son of David. Son of David. That's right. That's why the question is asked, That's right. how can David... He says unto them... You better give chapter and verse for this. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 23. I said He's, that Jesus is David's Lord. That's right. And then David became Jesus' Lord. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. Matthew 22 and here, verse 42. Here, here now. Saying, what think ye of Christ? What do you Christ? mean, Lord? 
Father. Yes. What thank you of Christ? Whose son is he? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. He's the son of David. He saith unto them. What? How then do how? David in spirit? Wait a minute. David was talking how? In spirit. That's why the preachers can't write you divide this, That's because right. they, David got what they don't have. That's right. Take the spirit to preach this. That's right. Hey, hallelujah. Take the spirit to know this. That's right. Take the spirit to dissect it and strip it and take it apart. Amen. And make all men see. Go ahead. What is the fellowship of the mystery that was hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ? He said. Even here, even mm. that quotation. Even that. He that created all things. The mystery that was hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ. Jesus. And then David talked about God and said, who alone. That's right. Yes. Make all things. Oh, That's right. Yes. Paul said he created all things by Jesus Christ, but then David said, who alone make all things? That's right. Now tell me, did Jesus help God create or did he do it alone? alone. And you better not tell me it's two creators. That's right. Well, Jesus helped them. God said, when I looked, there was none to help. None to help. When I wondered, there was none to uphold. That's right. But with his own arm, glory yeah. to God, he That's brought right. salvation. That's right. Jesus Christ says, God Almighty. Right. The problem with you blind men out there, you're too dumb to realize Jesus was spirit yeah. before he became flesh. That's yeah. right. Christ was spirit first. Yes. What do you think was in the prophets? That's right. All right, son, what did he say? He saith unto them, how then doeth David in spirit? How then doeth David in spirit? Call him Lord. Call him Lord. Saying the Lord. Saying the Lord. Said unto said, my Lord. Wait a minute. Yeah. The Lord. The Lord. Said unto. My Lord. My Lord. Yeah. Sit thou on my right Sit hand. Sit on my right hand. Till I make thine enemies thy footstool. You better not tell me it's two lords. That's okay. right. Either. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. God is David's Lord. Yes. yes. And then God go visit the house of David. That's right. And here you got King David now. Uh -huh. King David. So here's God is the father right. of David. Yeah. And now David turns around to be the father of Jesus. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I want to say, well, how is that, Pastor Jesus? Yeah. Luke, real quick, chapter 1. Luke, chapter 1, and we'll start reading in verse... Malachi 2, 10 first. Malachi 2, 10 first. Then Luke chapter 1. Amen. Let's see how many fathers do we have. Oh, yeah. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. That's what? Have we not all one father? That include David. That's right. Yeah. Have we not all? That got David. Have we not all one father? How many, how many made us? Hath not one? What? Hath not one but God? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he created all things by Jesus Christ. That's right. But the Bible says what? Hath not one God created us? But he created all things by Jesus Christ. That's right. What? Hath not one God created us? But the Bible says he created all things by Jesus Christ. Hath not what? One, yeah. Hath not one God created us? You better not tell me it's more than one God, you hellion. <laughs> That's oh, right. Okay. You've got to be a hellion and a blasphemer. That's, That's right. Discredit right. God's greatness. That's right. I tell you, it, it, the more you read, the more you see it plain. It must be given to you by the Spirit. Yeah. That's right. If it's is not given by the spirit you will come out with three gods or two lords oh yes have we not all one father have we not all one father one father hath not one god created us have not one god created us now in the book of saint luke chapter one we'll start at verse 31 and what and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb i shall conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son who is it and shall call his name jesus yes he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest uh -huh. and the lord god shall give unto him the throne of who of his father david but malachi said what hath we have we not all one father but luke says what and he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Yes. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. The spirit was the father of David. That's right. And David was the father of that flesh. That's right. What do you mean the father of the flesh? He was the father of the house that the flesh came out of. That's right. Huh? Amen. Well, what about the part where it says uh, of the throne of his father David? There shall be no end. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his now, kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me take that apart because that's too oh. deep for dumb preachers. Yeah. yeah. That's too deep for dumb preachers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now hear this. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. He shall reign. Reign. He shall have authority. Over the house of Jacob. Over all. Israel forever forever and of his kingdom and of his kingdom there shall be no end hold it right there 
of his kingdom. Of his kingdom. Of shall, his kingdom. There shall be no end. Of David's kingdom. Of his kingdom. There shall be no end. Well, you don't find David earthly kingdom around here. No. Come on. That's right. You don't find David earthly kingdom around here. No, no way. But it says of his kingdom. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. What do you mean of his kingdom? Of his authority. Right. That's right. Yeah. Of the authority there shall be no end. No now, end. that don't mean David's throne is in heaven. That's right. Why, Pastor Jennings? David's throne is built of men. That's right. But David's authority was given from God. That's yeah. right. That's right. David's throne was earthly stone. That's right. Uh -huh. You don't read where God's throne is of any stone. No. God's throne is his power. That's right. Yes. It's authority. Oh, yes. See, God's throne is so big. You can't look at it as a chair. Right. No. I want to say, what do you mean, Pastor Jenny? The Bible said heaven, heaven. is his throne. Strong. Heaven. That's right. Heaven. Yes. That's right. That's right. Get a chair out your mind. Right. Yeah. Glory to God. Oh, yes. Get an armrest totally out your mind. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith God. The heaven is my throne. What? The heaven is my throne. Get a chair. Get a little seat out your mind. That's right. That's right. Get it out your mind. That's right. When you think of David, a king, put him in an earthly throne. Right. When right. you think of God, get him out of a chair. That's right. Why? He's higher than heaven. Higher. Yes. Deeper than hell. Oh, yes. Broader, hallelujah, than the sea. Come on. Longer than the earth. That's right. What's his throne? The heaven is my throne. The heaven is my throne. And the earth, and is, the earth is my footstool. Hold it. Yes. Now, if you have a footstool, mm. you would think of resting your feet on something. Yeah. Right. He said the earth is his footstool. That's right. But the earth is too small for his feet. That's right. That's right. Come on, say, how is that? Because the Bible said the clouds are the dust, dust of, his feet. of his feet. Of his feet. What you mean, earth is his footstool? God's mercy, God's authority, God's compassion. On, yeah. Rest. Yeah. Rest. Yeah. You know, when you got your feet on something, it's resting. That's right. So earth is his footstool. God purpose rest. rest. Yes. He brought rest to the earth. My Lord. What was the rest he brought to get you to rest from your sins? Yes. That's right. Oh, yes. Until the Bible said, this is the rest, is the rest. which is called the weary to rest. Yes. And this is the refreshing. That's right. This is the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. This is the rest. This is the rest. Hallelujah. Which is called the weary to rest. rest. Heaven is his throne. Get a chair out your mind. Right. Earth's footstool. Get your feet. Get, get it out your mind. His feet is extended. That's right. Glory be to God. Now in the book of 2nd Esther's chapter 8. I will start at verse 12. They don't know. Amen. No. They don't know. No. But that God, I say like Jesus said, I thank thee, O Father. Yeah. Lord, I glory to God of heaven and earth. For you hid these things from the wise and prudent. And have revealed it unto babes, so it seemed good in thine sight. That's right. Second don't, you know, don't you know the Bible's a mystery? Yeah. When these false prophets read it, say, it mean what it said. Not in all cases, no, it don't. No. You got it right, you divide it. It says, oh, yeah. heaven. Heaven is my throne. Now you think of a big chair, or one of them big pimp chairs they sell in the thrift shops. That's right. Them big sweet daddy cane chairs. Amen. And the earth is my footstool. And when you visualize that logically, some nut would say, you see the Lord, his feet is resting on the earth. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know the Bible no. talking symbolic terms. That's right. That's right. If he's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth, then the universe can't even hold him. That's right. 
Oh Lord, thou dwellest in everlastingness. Hallelujah. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 8 and verse 20. Oh Lord, thou that dwellest in everlasting. Thou that dwell in, in everlasting eternity. Which beholdest from above things in the heaven and in the air. Glory to God, you behold from above things that's in the heaven. And in the air. That which is in the air. Whose throne, whose throne is inestimable. Can't measure it. That's right. Can't put no boundary on it. That's right. See, a lot of folk don't understand the term throne. throne. You narrow throne down to a chair. A throne in the natural is a symbolic to authority. That's right. Like scepter. Scepter is symbolic to authority. That's right. Nice. Are you getting me? Oh, That's yes. right. Get this now. Whose throne is inestimable. Yes. Whose glory may not be comprehended. Glory can't be understood. Before whom the host of angels the stand of with angels trembling. stand and tremble. Whose service is conversant in wind and fire. And what? Whose word is true. Whose word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, take God. Whose word is true. And sayings constant. S his what? S and sayings. God, God's speech. Constant. Constant. Whose commandment is strong. And ordinance fearful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His commandments. Strong. strong. Yes. And what he order? Fearful. Fearful. Who, whose look drieth up the depths. His what? His, whose look. His look. Drieth up the depths. His very look make the sea dry up. And indignation maketh and the indignation mountains to melt away. Make the mountains melt. Which the truth witnesses. And what? Oh, hear the prayer of thy servant. Hear the prayer of thy servant. And give ear to the petition of thy creature. All right. Back in the book of Revelation now at verse 5. Listen at this. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. All right, I want to atomize and break these scriptures down. Yes. Amen. Amen. Weep not. Behold the lion of the tribe. Oh, I thank God for the truth of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Viewers, if you want to understand the mystery, that's what the Bible says. Great, great is the mystery of, godliness. of godliness. godliness. Then to tell you what God done, God was manifest in the flesh, was working, talking, preaching, teaching, where? In the flesh. He preached where? In the flesh. He walked on water where? In the flesh. He healed where? In the flesh. He opened the eyes of the blind while he was where? In the flesh. He made the lame man talk while he was hiding where? In the flesh. He raised the dead where he was located where? In the flesh. He served the Lord's Supper when he was dwelling where? In the flesh. He got baptized while he was located where? In the flesh. And without controversy. Amen. Ain't no need conversing That's about right. it. Without controversy. Yes. Amen. Ain't no need arguing. No. The reason why there's a lot of controversy is because there's not a lot of understanding. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that I have hid these things from the wise and prudent, hath revealed it unto the babes. So it seemeth good in thine sight. In thy sight. Right. All right, get this, and then let's get the lamb as it has been slain. Back in Revelation 5 and verse 5. Follow me. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold the, the, whole, the, the lion, lion of the yeah. tribe of Judah. That come out of Judah's tribe. David's to, root hath prevailed. To open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Yeah. And I, at verse 6. All right. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne. In the midst of the throne. And of the four beasts. What? And in the midst of the elders. Stood a lamb as it had been slain. No, he was slain. Stood a lamb as it had been slain. As it has. As it had been slain. Now, you slain. mean it, uh, mm. if it stood a lamb as it has been slain, then John saw the lamb dead. That's right. That's and right. you better not tell me that Jesus was dead in heaven. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You better not say that. See, they can't get the language of the Bible. Amen. There never was a slain, murdered lamb in heaven. No. What he saw took place right here. That's right. That's right. That's right. They gathered together at Golgotha, the hill of skulls. That's right. To witness the death. Witness it. That God, darkness hit creation. Yes. Yeah. Earth began to shake like a shake. man drunken with wine. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? That's yeah. right. He died 
right there, the lamb was slain. That's right. When they, when they, when they knelt his hands and knelt his feet, yes. it is written, they granted him yes. a murderer. Then the Bible said they killed the prince of life. That took place here. That's right. That's right. Why did it take place on earth? He ain't die for nobody in heaven. No. All, all the problems that he had in heaven, he threw it out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. You see, yeah, man. Let me give you some revelation. There was two problems: yeah. one in earth, yeah. one in heaven. Yes. And, and or rather, one in earth, one in heaven. Right. And he approached both of them differently. Yeah. That's right. The heavenly approach, he threw them out. Threw the them earthly out. approach died for it. That, that's right. Heavenly approach, no mercy. Right. Earthly approach, mercy. You that's know why? Because the nature of man is lesser than the nation of angels. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. And in the midst of the elders. Yeah, chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 5 and at verse 6. In the midst of the elders. Stood a lamb as it stood had a lamb been slain. As it has been. As it had. As it The had lamb been. was standing there like it was murdered. That's right. And having seven horns, seven horns and seven eyes. Seven eyes. Which are the seven spirits of God. And what? Sent forth into all the earth. Yes. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him. And. That sat upon the throne. Wait a minute. He came and took the book and took the book out of the right hand of him that what that sat upon the throne. Nice. Now you're gonna tell me that mean an, another Jesus walked to God? Mm. Oh no! You see, they don't understand no, these things. No. That's right. He came and, and took, took the, the book, book out of the right hand of him. Out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne and said what? And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders and what? fell down before the Lamb. Hold it! You see, at the appointed time, the lamb had to take the book. The book. Yeah. Let me show you what that means. 24th chapter book of Luke. Yes. Begin that verse, verse 47. Yes. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. Listen. Luke 24 and verse 47. I read the 44, 24. Luke 24 and verse 44. All right, 24, 44. Listen. And certain of them which went with us went to the sepulchre. Yes. 2444, Pastor. 2444. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you. These are the words that I spake unto you. While I was yet with you. Listen at this. That all things must be fulfilled. Wait a minute. All things must what? Must be fulfilled. Where? Which were written in the law of Moses. I, I, I'm taking a book now. Right. Oh. Hmm. All things what? All things must be fulfilled. What's that word? Must be fulfilled. What? Must be fulfilled. That's taking the book. That's right. That's when the lamb took the book. That's right. It took the book from the hand of him that held it. That what do you mean? The flesh in nature is lesser or lower than the nature of spirit, which is God. Right. So when the lamb took the book, that means the lamb, which is the flesh of the son of God, had to fulfill what was written because what was written was written by the authority of God, the hand of God, the prophecy of God. Yeah. That's right. Not that there was an actual lamb walking around in heaven. That's right. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking? Oh, yes. That's right. Bible talking in this divine hieroglyphics. That's right. These are the words. These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. And what? That all things must be fulfilled. That mean it must be done. Which yeah. were written. Wait a minute. It was what? Which were written. That's why he took the hand, took it from it out the book. Mm -hmm. He took the book. What's in the book was written. Written. And what the book consisted of. Which were written in the law of Moses. The law of Moses was in the book. And in the prophets. The prophets was in the book. And in the Psalms. And all the that was in the book concerning who? Concerning me. Concerning the lamb. That's right. The law of Moses, oh, yeah. the prophets, and the Psalms, and the Psalms was all talking about the Lamb. That's right. Talking about Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Don't tell me that the law of Moses didn't talk about Jesus. That's right. God shall raise up a prophet from among your brethren like me. Him shall you hear in all things. Talking about the coming of the Lamb. Yeah. Then he talk about what's next? The law of Moses. Who else? And in the prophets. And what? And in the prophets. Wait a minute. Let's get all of it. And in the Psalms concerning. Let's me. get all of it. Read and, it again. And he, 
And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you uh -huh. while I was yet with you, uh -huh. that all things must be fulfilled. All things. All things. Yes. Must be fulfilled. Which were written in the law of Moses. Written where? In the law of Moses. Moses said, God going to raise up a prophet like me. He'll show you here and everything. Where else? And in the prophets. Where else? And in the prophets. Wait, wait. The prophets? In the prophets. A sign shall be that a virgin shall be with a child. That shall call the name Emmanuel, being interpreted God with us. That's right. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me, yet out of thee shall he, he. come unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, who is going forth as be from old to everlasting. A rock shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon the spirit of counsel and might. The Lord said unto my Lord, step out on my right hand. My God, my God, what hast thou forsaken me? That's right. And in the prophet. Yeah, I said, oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my head was water. Amen. And my eyes a fountain of tears, weeping day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. The prophet said again, a new thing shall God commit in the earth. God shall perform in the earth that a woman shall compass a man. That's right. And in the written prophets. in the prophets. In the prophets. And where else? And in the Psalms. Where? In the Psalms. Concerning. Where? In the Psalms. In the writings of King David concerning who? Concerning me. That's what it meant when the Lamb took the book. And Read he, the book of Revelation. Back in Revelation 5 and verse 7. And he came and took the book. You dumb things out That's there. Right. Amen. Another Lord took it from another big Lord. My Lord. No. The Lamb took the the book. And he came and took the book. He came and took the book. Out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Out of the right hand of them. Of him. 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 That sat where? That sat upon the throne. Only one throne here. That's right. That's right. That's right. The throne of David simply means the authority of David that yes. would never come to an end. That's right. That's all that is. Wonderful. Uh -huh. And when he and when he had taken the book, when he took the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before they the Lamb. Fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and harps. and golden vials, golden vials, full of odors, full of odors, which are the prayers of saints, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song. Wait a minute. They sung a new song. Thou art worthy to take the book. Thou art worthy. Thou art. Thou art worthy. Worthy to take the book. Thou art worthy to fulfill what's written in the book. That's right. Nobody was worthy but the Lamb That's to right. take the book. Nobody was worthy but the Lamb to fulfill the writings of the book. That's, That's right. all that is. That's right. That's right. When you're ignorant, this is what you think. Come here, uh, Quinzel. Come here a minute. Bring your Bible. Bring your Bible. Bring your Bible and you stand right there. When you're ignorant, this is what you think. You think that is actually a lamb. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. That's right. Are you getting it? Amen. What if God talk in symbolic terms? Then let me break it a little more deeper. The reason why the Son of Man appeared as a lamb, taking the book out of the hand, lamb means sacrifice. In the Old Testament, Law, Moses, Prophet, and Psalms talks about the sacrifice or the redeeming of the people. He come as a lamb showing you that it takes humility mm. and the offering of something in order to redeem these people back to God right. because the book is in the hand of God or prophecy is in the will of God mm. or the hand of God represent the agenda. God's agenda Preach is it. written in the book. That's right. Preach it, man. Preach it. God's agenda, God's purpose is written in the book. The book. And he will be manifest in that lamb. That's right. So the lamb can be fulfilled by coming and fulfill God's will in the book. That's yeah. it. Two gods, you are fool. That's, That's a fool. Right. Amen. Little Lord, big Lord. Too many lords here. Too many lords. Come on, son. And they sung a new song saying, yes. Thou art worthy Let's to... Let's get close with the vexure dipped in blood. Let's itemize this. First of all, give me 15 chapter 1 Corinthians and verse 50. Yes. And give me, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the book of James. We knew him as the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Right. 
Read quick, so my time 15. is getting away from here. First Corinthians 15 and verse 50. Follow me, viewers. Hear me. Now this I say, brethren. This. Yes. Glory to God to the highest. I say, brothers. That flesh and blood cannot. Flesh in, mm -hmm. and blood. Cannot. Cannot. Inherit the kingdom of God. All right, I want you to get this. Let me demonstrate this so perfectly. Yes. Come here, brother Bo. Just come on, stand right here. You four brothers, Kev, Logan, my brother there, my brother there, just stand right here facing the camp. You brothers come go over that way. You can join them if you want. Y'all go over that way. Yeah, go on that way. Now, viewers, let me show you something. Jesus was on the cross dying. Yes. The Bible said, give me Leviticus, the life of all flesh. Read yes. re quick because I want to step by step itemize this. Yes. <clears throat> the life of all flesh is in your blood. In Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. I want to strike every event out with Bible to give you an understanding. Amen. God is spirit. Yes. The son of God was flesh and blood. God was in the flesh and blood. And use the flesh and blood as an example to show you how to live right. That's right. The flesh and blood was in God. Right. God was in it. And then the flesh and blood was the servant, the Messiah, uh -huh. son of God, the pattern yeah. that God will use by using a flesh and blood human body. That's right. The Bible says in Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. That's what? For the life of the flesh. The life of the flesh. Is in the blood. It's in the blood. That's right. Now they pierced them. I want you to stop. I want to step by step with Bible. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. He hung on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. That's right. They went to break his legs. But when they came to Jesus. Listen at this. St. John chapter 19 and verse 33. Follow me. But when they came to Jesus. They came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. They saw he was dead already. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers with the spear. Did what? Pierced his side. Pierced his side. And forthwith came there out blood and water. So the natural life came out. Right. Yeah. But he was dead when? Already. He was already dead. Dead already. The natural life of the Son of God ended on the cross. That's right. The natural life. Yeah, here yeah, now. Uh -huh. If the Bible said the life of all flesh. Lieth in the blood. Lieth in the blood. The natural life stopped That's right. on the cross. That's right. Pierced him in the side. Out came blood Out and water. Out blood and water. Blood and water. Now. Nicodemus and Joseph of Amathea pleads for the body. When the even was come, there came a rich man of when Amathea. When the evening came, a rich man came. Named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. Yes. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And what? Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. Yes. And when Joseph had taken the body, uh -huh. he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. Now he wraps the body up. And he laid it on his own new tomb. Now he laid it. On his own new tomb. In his own tomb. Which Stand he had right hewn there. out in the rock. Which was hewed out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door. Now, of, after he died, right. he's placed in the grave. Yeah. That's right. There's nothing left right. but flesh and bones. No blood. Right. That's right. He went down. That's right. Natural. He went down. 15 chapter, first Corinthians quickly. First Corinthians chapter. He 15. went down. He was planted. He was sown. He was buried natural. That's right. Listen, that's what they said. First Corinthians 15 and verse 4. Come on, sir. There are also celestial bodies. There are also celestial bodies. And bodies terrestrial. And bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one. Now hold it. Yeah. A celestial body. Is that which is spiritual. Right. A terrestrial body is that which is human. That's right. I am a terrestrial body. Right. Striving so when the Lord come, uh -huh. he will turn me right. into celestial. That's right. Are oh, you getting me? That's it's right. Wonderful. I'm a terrestrial preacher 
with the celestial message. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. I'm a terrestrial preacher telling you about a, a celestial God. That's right. The terrestrial man died. Right. Now. That's right. Stay at it. When the terrestrial, the flesh died, flesh. those that died waiting on the promise, the spirits in prison, had to hear the message. That's right. The terrestrial placed down in the sepulcher. Nice. But now you had the celestial, Say it. the spirit yes. that came out that body. Oh, yes. Come on, Jay. Now he goes to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. Oh, what did the Bible say the spirit does? For Christ also once had suffered for sins. Christ. Christ. Yes. Flesh. Yes. The flesh suffered. Yes. Suffered for sin. For sin. The just for the unjust. That he may do it. That he might bring us to God. How? Being put to death in the flesh. The flesh had to die. But yes. quickened by the spirit. But for this cause. By which also. Wait a minute. For, for, by which also. He went and preached. Hold it. Yes. One part is dead. Right. But the other part did what? By which also he went and preached. How can a dead preach? That's right. Come on, Jay. Dead can't preach. That's right. So the body of the Son of Man, dead, laying in the grave. Spirit come out the body. You hear the spirit coming out. That's right. While he was on the cross. That's right. While he was on the cross, the terrestrial was yelling at the celestial. At about the ninth hour. My God. My God. Oh my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Why have you forsaken? Oh Why hast thou forsaken me? God. The celestial comes out. And a terrestrial, dead. That's yes. right. Now the celestial, which is the spirit, uh -huh. go to the grave. By which also he went and by preached. By which also he went and preached. Unto the spirits he, in wait, prison. Wait. He went and preached to who? Unto the spirits. Where? In prison. Went to preach to the spirit of Moses. Yes, spirit of Daniel. Yes, spirit of Isaiah. Yes, spirit of Jeremiah. Yes, he couldn't go down there flesh. That's right. The reason why he couldn't go down there flesh and preaching, because flesh could only be at one place at a time. But if you go down spirit, spirit is everywhere. That's right. That's right. Hey! Do you understand? That's right. So the spirit went and preached to who? Unto the spirits. Where? In prison. You talking about from the time of Adam. Till the time he died on the cross, yeah. it is written, death reigned from Adam to Moses, Moses. even though with them that had not sinned at the similitude of Adam's transgression, who was made of him that was to come. Now, three days, three nights. Y'all can go here, brother. No, 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 no. Stay back here. I'm not done yet. Three days. Three nights. He lost the blood, so his natural life ended. The natural life of the Son of God ended. But that bones and flesh still was Mary's son down in the grave. It was simply not a son with natural life. That's right. But in order for him to live again, breath or life source got to come from somewhere. That's right. If blood would have came back in him, he would have lived after the natural, but he lost all the blood. Let's see how he was raised. 15 chapter 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 15. Let's see how he went down and how he come back. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 42. Right to the point now. So also is the resurrection of so the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. Sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It was planted in dishonor. It is raised in glory. Buried in dishonor but raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. He went down in weakness. It is raised in power. Raised in power. It is, it is sown in natural body. What was buried? A natural body. What was buried? A natural body. Flesh and bones were still natural. That's right. Yes, Just had them on natural source. That's right. Blood. That's right. How did he come back? It is raised a spiritual body. Hold it. Now, the third day, there ain't no more blood. That's right. That's right. That's right. Flesh and bones. That's right. But how did he come back? It is raised a spiritual body. So three days and three nights. 
Here you got the spirit preaching to the spirits in prison. But in order for that body to come up, life had to come from somewhere. Right. So the same spirit that came out came back in. That's right. That's right. That's right. The same spirit that came in ceased that body to be natural. Right. Now it got a new title. How did it go down? It is sown a natural body. It went down natural, but how it come out? It is raised a spiritual body. Now the spirit gets in flesh and bones that still called son of God, but is no longer natural. It is now spiritual. 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 Are you getting me? That's right. Come on. When he had blood walking around here, when he come to a door, he do this. That's right. But now that he's spiritual, that's right. He come back and just appeared to his apostles. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Still come, son of God, but without any natural life that's right when the spirit resurrect the body it changed the whole flesh, whole flesh. until we don't know him no more right. as the natural flesh and blood that's right. but the spiritual body of flesh and bones was made celestial yes. eternal now it's a body that can never die second corinthians chapter 5 and verse 16. listen listen i want this to be good for you that says we still know him flesh and blood like he was here on earth. Let's see what the Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 16. Listen. Wherefore henceforth. Wherefore henceforth. No, we no man after the flesh. Oh. No, we no man. After the flesh. Listen, not the, langu the language, the grammar yeah. of scripture. That's right. No, we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after wait, the wait, flesh. Wait, wait, wait. How, 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 how was he known? We have known Christ. Known his past. After the flesh. We have known Christ how? After the flesh. How does it stand now? Yet now henceforth. What? Know we him no more. I told you. That's right. Know we him? No more. No more. No more. So he's no longer flesh and blood. That's right. At all. At all. It ain't flesh and blood ain't never been to heaven. No. But the glorified body that rose flesh and bones was not natural. It was spiritual, still having all the titles and the same shape right. that he had on earth. But now he's spiritual. Who shall change our vile body? He going this, this is Philippians 3.23. Chapter 23 and verse 21. Chapter 321, he's he going to change what? Who shall change our vile body? How is it going to be changed? That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. The glorious body still called son of God. That's right. Still, hallelujah. Still called son of David. That's right. Still called son of man. Amen. But he ain't related to nobody. Nobody. That causes no blood. That's right. All right, now let's get close with the vexture. Yes. And then let's balance back out again with uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 50. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. This is so plain. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, and we'll start at verse 12. Get this. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Wait a minute. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Were as a flame of fire. And on his you head. Hear, you know that's not flesh. That's not flesh. That's not flesh at all. No. That's right. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Here, chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 19, we started at verse 12. His eyes was as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. You know why? It, it, it was many crowns. Mm -hmm. Because he, he's a ruler of all nations, all kingdoms, past, present, and future. Amen. <laughs> He's what? And he had, and on his head were many crowns. Many crowns. He, he got a whole lot of authority. Mm. He rules all. Amen. He even ruled hell. How is hell? How is that, Pastor Jennings? I thought the devil is the king of hell. No, the devil is the prince. That's right. God is the king. The king. All princes must be subject to the king. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. All right. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Eyes as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. Many crowns. And he had a name written. He had a name written. And he had a name written that no man knew but, no he, man knew but he himself. But he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture uh -oh. dipped in blood. Wait a minute. He was clothed. Now, he, let here, here, here. He's looking in heaven now. Yeah. 
That's right. He's looking. That's right. I told you the book of Revelation is a book of past, present, and future. Right. Amen. And the whole thing he's itemizing is talking about the death of Jesus. Yes. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yes. He was what? And he was clothed. He was dressed. With a vesture. With a vesture. Dipped in blood. And what? And his name is called the word of God. Re read a few more verses of that. And the armies which were in heaven followed him. Yes. Upon white horses. Yes. Clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Yes. And out of his mouth went, goeth a sharp sword. Now hold it, hold it. Mm. Now you're going to tell me Blaze is coming out of his chops? Come on, Jesus. What you mean the armies in heaven follow him? Mm -hmm. All of heaven is subject to Christ. That's right. Now, clothed with the vexture. Dipped in blood. Now we got to find out when was it done. Done. That's right. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 63. Chapter 63 and, and we'll begin at verse 1. At verse 1. Listen at this. Who is this that cometh from Edom? Who is it? That cometh from Edom. Who, 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 who is it? Who is this that cometh from Edom? You better not tell me he, he dipped. Listen. If he was walking around heaven with a garment dipped in blood, mm. who stained it? What happened in heaven that is stained. That's right. That's right. If this took place in heaven, what happened in heaven that caused it to stain? That's right. Because you only read where Jesus shed blood one time. One time. That's right. That's right. In one place. That's right. You're infidels. That's right. There was a false prophet out of Florida. Hey Amen. Years ago, we was on Frankfurt Avenue. And through that lie out that Jesus, when he died, he, 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 after he died, he got buckets yeah. and started scooping his blood up. Yeah. And then took it up to heaven and threw it all around the throne. Wow. You old graffiti infidel. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Blood ain't for angels. No. Blood is for us. Us. Blood is not for angels. That's right. Blood is for us. In whom we have redemption. The Bible speaks plain. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. In whom we have redemption. What do you mean? In Jesus? We have redemption. We. We. We have redemption. We. That's right. We have redemption through his blood. No, it's up in heaven. We have redemption through his blood. When did he take it up to heaven? Hmm. <laughs> That's right. If he's walking around in heaven with a stained garment, when did he take it up there? That's right. Because you got to find out when was the vexture dipped. Dip. You got to find Dip. out when it was right. dipped. That's right. You got to go and find out when was that done. That's right. You better not tell me it was done in heaven. Amen. I'll make you find it. Amen. Cause and effect. Yeah. What caused his vexture to be dipped Dip in, in blood? blood? What happened? What caused it? That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Take the third chapter of Isaiah. And begin at verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom? Who is that? That's coming from Edom. With dyed garments from Bozah. Dyed garments from Bozah. This that is glorious in his apparel. Glorious in his apparel, travailing. In the greatness of his strength. I that speaketh righteousness. Mighty to save. He's mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? He's red. He all red in your apparel. And thy garments like him that treadeth your in the wine garments. Fat. Amen. Your garments look like someone that tread the wine fat. I have tried the wine press alone. You tried the wine press alone. And, and of, the people, of the people, there was none with me. None with me. For I will tread them in my anger. And what? And trample them in my fury. What is it? And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. What? And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. When? And I will stain all my raiment. I will stain what? All my raiment. Amen. Let's see when it was fulfilled. Book of John. St. John, that's right. That's right. When all of the raiment was stained. St. John chapter 19. I don't say that means all his clothes. No, it don't. When yeah. it says all of the raiment, that's dealing with what he had on at that time. Yeah. That's right. Well, that means all his garment do not because remember they took the robe and parted it and cast lots. Last cast that's lots. That's true. He didn't have that. No. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come St. on, son. St. John 19, we'll start at verse 32. Glory to God. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first. Yes. And of the other which was crucified with him. Eh. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. Dead already, they didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers with the spear pierced his side. They pierced his side. And forthwith came there out blood. 
and water. That's when his garment was dyed. That's right. That's when he was clothed with the vexture dipped, dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. Why you think he's called the true vine? That's yeah. right. Huh? That's right. You, a grape grows on the vine. Why you think the Bible likened his blood or likened his blood unto wine? That's right. Uh, in order for a grape to dye your garment, the skin of the grape must be broken. In the book of when Genesis. When he pressed the mother on in the side, the skin was broken of the true vine. That's right. Glory to God and it died his garment. That's right. Eh? Genesis 49 and at verse 8. Says what? Judah thou art he whom thy Judah. brethren shall praise. Thou art he whom thy brethren going to praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's well from, from the, the prey, my son. son. You're going up, you stoop down as a lion, as an old lion who shall rise them up. The scepter shall not scepter. depart from Judah. Shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh comes. And unto him shall, shall the, the gathering, gathering of the, the people, people be. be. His foe. His foe. Unto the vine. Wait. Un mm. oh, I Amen. Wonderful. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Doing what? Burning his foe unto the vine. Hold it. Doing what? Burning his foe unto the vine. 15 chapter of the book of John. Begin at verse 1. St. John chapter 15 and at verse 1. I am. I am the true vine. The true vine. And my father is the husband man. Binding his foe. That means gathering his people to the vine. That means he gathered his foe to his body so they can witness his death. Go the ahead. vine was there, up there, hanging on a cross. cross. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. It was fulfilled, Hallelujah. not in heaven. That's right. Right here on earth. That's right. Did you hear what it says in the book of Genesis? Back in Genesis 49 at verse 11. What is it? Binding his foe unto the vine. Gathering his people to the vine. And his ass is coat. And his ass is coat. Unto the choice vine. Holy, his flesh was the chosen vine. Don't you hear the chosen vine said, go tell that man I want his coat. That's right. That's right. The ass is called to the choice vine. He was the chosen one. That's right. Uh -huh. He washed his he garments washed in wine. His garments. Wait a minute. Who go around washing their garments in wine? In wine. He washed his garments how? In wine. What else? And his clothes. Where was his clothes at? In the blood of grapes. I told you. Nice. It's in the blood of grapes. Blood of grapes. Nice. His garments was washed in wine. His washed clothes it. in the blood of grapes. Blood when they grapes. pressed him in the side, out came blood and water. The vexture that closed him, it got dyed as Die. a result of the blood that came from his wounded side. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Wonderful. So what the prophet saw didn't take place in heaven. No. What the prophet, don't you know one sentence can talk about earth and the next sentence can talk about heaven? That's right. That's right. The book of Revelation is what men don't have. Revelation. Yeah, don't have it. Two laws, three laws, five laws. Yeah. You need an apostle to teach you orangutans yeah. out here. <laughs> That's right. Swinging on all these scriptures, beating on your chest. It mean what it says. No, sir. No, no. When did Jesus stain that garment? What happened? Right. That's right. What happened? That's right. What happened? And he was clothed with a vesture. Because he was seen after he rose. Right. 15 chapter, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians. begin at verse 1. Right. And the apostles was not the only ones that saw him. That's right. You want to say what? Oh, yes. The apostles wasn't the only one that saw Jesus. That's right. 15 chapter 1 Corinthians begin at verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I declare Moreover, unto you. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you. The gospel which I preached unto you. God, hallelujah, the gospel that I preached unto you. Which also ye have received wherein and wherein you stand. Wherein you stand. By which also ye are saved if you keep saved. it in memory. Remember this gospel. This is the gospel. That's yeah. right. This is the message of resurrection here. That's right. If you keep in memory. You are saved if you keep in memory. What, what I preached, I preached unto you. you. Unless, unless you believe in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Now, Christ was in the prophets, so they ain't talking about the spirit. No. Spirit didn't die. No. But the body that took on the title Christ is born unto you this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. Christ the, Lord. the flesh got the title Christ from the spirit. That's right. Because the spirit, which was in the prophets, that was Christ. That was Christ. Though Israelites that followed that rock in the wilderness, that was rock Christ. Was, rock was Christ. Christ's first nature is spirit. That's right. And Christ is God. That's right. 
Then the flesh took on the name of God and the title of God. That's right. And when it got here in the flesh, the flesh said all things the father have of mine. The mm -hmm. father had the title of Christ. Now I inherit that title. The father had the name Jesus. I inherit that title. The father is able to do all things. I can do all things. That's right. Are you getting me? For I delivered unto you first of all. I delivered unto you first of all. That which that, I also received. That which I got. How that Christ died for our sins how according to the scriptures. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and he that he rose buried. again the third day. He rose again the third day. According, according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And that he was seen of he Cephas. He was seen of Peter. Then of the twelve. Then of the twelve. After that. After that. He was seen of above five hundred brethren at once. He was seen of above five hundred brothers at once. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. Some of that was, at that time, the greater part of that amount was still living. But some but have fallen some asleep. Died. After that, after that, he was seen of James. James saw. Then of all the apostles. Then all the apostles saw. And last of all, hey, come brother Paul said, last of all, he was seen of me also. How? As of one born out of due time. He didn't walk with him in the flesh, but he walked with him in the spirit. That's right. So yes, Hallelujah. Jesus is the Son of God with that glorified body, still has the title Son of God, but that body now that he have is not the way it was when he walked here on earth. That's right. He switched lives. That's right. Yes. He got rid of the blood and then the spirit took, took the over. place of the blood. That's, That's right. right. Lost the blood on the cross and then picked up the spirit in the grave. That's it. Spirit got in that body. When it got in that body, it moved the body from his natural state and now he come up glorified. Glorified. Which is spiritual. Chose, that's right. Which is a body that's everlasting or celestial and can't die. Yes. And still is called Son of God. Son of God. Hallelujah. So you viewers out there that's following uh, these Yosemite, Yosemite Sam preachers and these Huckleberry Hounds and and these snaggerpuss preachers. Exit. Go on to hell even. <laughs> that's, that's right. It was going around trying to win souls desperately by trying to tell the people of Pastor Jennings deny the Son of God. Well, let's let's look at this. My Lord. Look at these works and how we preach Jesus. Oh, yeah. And look at the works of them that claim they so right and how they preach Jesus. Right. And see who fulfilled the Bible. That's right. Because the Jesus that I preach says greater works. Greater works than these shall you do. Than these shall ye do. Shall you do. Because I'm going back. Hallelujah. To the Father. We have already did more works than Jesus. That's right. Amen. Already did more works than Jesus. <laughs> I want to say that sounds mighty boastful. What do I care? <laughs> That's right. Greater works. This what the Bible says. St. Right. John 14 and verse 12. Verily, verily, verily. He, 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 he promised that to his apostles. That's right. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, verily, I say unto who? He, unto you. And that include me. Mm. Yeah. They're not going to like that, Pastor. That include me. They're not going to like that. And that's the only reason why this work excels like it is. That's right. It's my calling. Hallelujah. I was called and sent of God to do it. That's right. Hallelujah. He showed me, hallelujah, hallelujah. He showed me how should it be done and gave me charge to get it done. Hallelujah. And we're doing it by the authority of him that made heaven and earth. That's why I can preach him. That's right. And this authority that comes from God is moving heaven. Glory to God and is moving in the earth. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So I don't, I, I'm saying like Paul, I've magnified my office. That's right. I'm not boasting. No. Not at all. I'm boasting in God. That's right. But if, if you have any understanding of this, you will thank God for me. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. That's right. No, not even the devil want folk to thank God for Pastor Jennings. No. They say, oh, them folk follow Pastor Jennings. They wish up Pastor Jennings. Anybody wish up in me? Anybody wish up in you? We are experienced the mighty hand of Jehovah. Do you know how happy we are, my enemies? That's to right. be able to go anywhere in the world and baptize thousands preaching Jesus. That's right. And him crucified. That's right. 
We have victory before we get anywhere. Yes, God willing, this weekend, I believe I'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Victory is ours, and I don't even have my ticket yet. Uh, Sister Lorraine, my travel secretary, wake up. I ain't got my ticket yet. But before we get there, victory is ours. I think next after that, I, I'm not sure. I think we go to uh, Seattle or Los Angeles, one of them. Los Angeles. Victory is ours before we get there. I don't have that ticket either, Sister Lorraine. <laughs> and then we go to Seattle, Washington. I don't have that ticket either. <laughs> Amen. But I'm telling you this, viewers, so you can be able to tell the difference. That's right. How God worked yes, sir. versus a bunch of noise. That's right. Amen. When you turn this program on, seeing the message being preached around the world, you can see the hand of God. Oh, yes. That's right. God, hallelujah, you can see it. You can feel it coming out of that television or out of that screen. You can feel it. So many testimonies coming in, how they received the Holy Ghost listening to it, received the Holy Ghost watching it. Someone wrote me and told me they received healing watching it. Mm. Wonderful. God, if God didn't put me in this, I wouldn't be in it. There's too much other stuff out there to do. I'll be doing it. That's <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure I can get some help from Logan. Oh, yes. Am I right, Logan? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. He ain't the only one that'll help me. A whole lot of you fellas will help me, wouldn't you? Amen. Oh, Glory to God. This is the message, viewers. This is Acts 2.38, son. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You might as well get ready to pack up and come out your churches. Mine's well. You might as well pack up and come out your churches. Come out your churches. Don't, know, don't worry about your position. I don't care what it is. That's right. I don't care how long you've been there. Yesterday there were some folk walked in. I think they came from Chesterfield, Virginia. They came to hear me preach. Wow. One woman said, Pastor Jennings, uh, we have come to hear you preach. I said, sister, I'm... We're here to work. That's wonderful. He said, we, you, we hear you say you're going to work in the scriptures. I said, yeah, but right now we're going to work in the church. He said, well, Pastor Dennis, I left my church. I'm one of them ones that you said come out, her and a group of others. He said, wow. they said we all came out the church. Nice. Came out of one of those non-denominations. I said, oh, you came out that false church. She said, yes, we came out the false church, Pastor Dennis. She said, I worked for the Navy Yard over 40 years. I'm a painter. Let me know because I want to help paint this temple. I said, all right, you, you come on. Amen. God Almighty is with the truth of God. Amen. God is. That's true. And I'm saying to the world, oh, it take God fighting this is like a gnat trying to fight an elephant, got sucked up in the nostril and was too dumb to realize it. That's right. All of heaven Hallelujah. agrees with this message. That's true. Amen. I didn't say some of it, I said all of it. That's right. Angels sighs with it. God rejoice over it. Oh, yes. The reason why he rejoiced over it because he gave it to me. Amen. If he didn't give it to me, glory to God, I wouldn't be able to preach it and analyze and break the scriptures down That's so right. plain. That's right. It's so plain. We give God thanks for this. Hallelujah. All right. Anybody want to be baptized? Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet now. Stand on your feet and get right with God. Come on. Come on. All of you that are standing. Come on. Follow them in the front. Everybody might as well get ready to come on out the churches. Everybody. Come out of your churches. Don't go back to your churches. Once you repent of your sins and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, you follow this divine message all the days of your life. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. All the days. You see, God told us apostles, I make you fishers of men. 
This hook stay in the water all the time. Amen. All the time. One man wrote me and said he's sick of seeing people getting baptized. I don't care how sick you are. You might as well get ready to get sicker. That's right. They hot now. You wonder what they're going to do when we go in the main auditorium. And hear all them voices singing in such heavenly one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. So, Bills, I want to remind all of you, I want to see all many thousands of you. We're being Greensboro, North Carolina, celebrating God. Hallelujah. We're celebrating God. Make plans now. All of you that was baptized throughout the whole state of Florida, throughout all of America, Canada, Europe, Hallelujah. South America, all of you in the different foreign countries that's able to come here to America. I'm looking to see you in Greensboro, North Carolina at the youth conference and get Hallelujah. ready to make plans for the international convocation in July. We want you to come by the thousands. Hallelujah. Not just be baptized and then sit home and go back to your church. You still a go to hell. Still a go. Right. That's true. I'm telling you right now, you still a go right into hell. Yeah. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. Don't let your husband keep you away from this. Don't let your wife keep you. If your children don't want it, save yourself. That's right. I'm determined to save myself. Oh, yeah. Thank God and them that's willing to hear me. All right. We thank God for all of you. God gave us all something good. Prayer will begin, God willing, at 530. Let us all stand. Minister Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you again for this day. We thank you, Father God, for the words of the gospel that was preached, demonstrated in our hearing so well. My God, by thine spirit through the man of God. We thank you, Father God, for thine truth. My God, we thank you, Father God, how you allowed us to hear thine word. Bless us now not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers. My God of thine word, remember them that desire to be baptized. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless them, help them, that they may hold on to you and bless them and fill them with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. Remember the pastor. My God, continue to strengthen his natural body. Help him, Lord. Bless him, O oh God, by your spirit and by your power. My God, continue to encourage him and help him. My God, bless us now as we go and come back again. And no hurt, harm, or danger would fall upon us. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.